If you want to see how your robot will respond to certain loads, or if the material you chose will resist to a certain force, you can use SOLIDWORKS simulation to measure its strength and to optimize its design. Open the part provided as an example. If you don't see the simulation tab in the command manager, go to Tools, Add-ins, and check the appropriate box. Under the Study Advisor drop-down, click New Study, then select Static. From the Simulation tab, click on Apply Material and select the desired one from the list. I will use 1060 aluminum alloy for this example. Click Apply and Close. You can add supports or motion constraints from the Fixtures Advisor drop-down. For this simulation, click on Fix Geometry. Select the outside faces and the two circular faces and click OK. Next, apply the load. Select Pressure from the External Loads drop-down. Click on the top face and enter 1 KSI for the value of the pressure you want to apply. Right-click on Mesh in the Static Simulation Feature Manager and select Create Mesh to define its parameters yourself. Leave the advanced settings as default, but under Mesh Parameters, select Curvature-based Mesh. Click OK to examine the resultant mesh. This is not a particularly good one. For example, you need to have at least three elements per thickness. You can go back and refine your mesh. For now, click on Run to view the result as it is. This test shows you the stress, displacement, and strain that appear in the component as consequences of the load. You can right-click and edit definition to change the settings and select which type of stress you want to plot. You can also change the scale to true scale to view the realistic results. Change back to automatic scale and right-click animate on displacement. You can click on the formed result to see the before and after images. You also have several other plot tools available, such as section clipping, to view the results only on a specified portion of the part. You can create multiple studies with different loads and materials, and then use the Compare Results button to get a better perspective of the effects. To view the full part again, right-click on the plot, select Section Clipping, and click on Clipping On-Off. If you want to improve your design, you can perform a design study, which will evaluate multiple configurations of your component under certain conditions. For example, it can change some dimensions as long as the stress is under a certain level. Let's see how it works. Click New Study and select Design Study. In the Variable View tab on the bottom, click the first drop-down and select Add Parameters. Type a name, such as Hole Diameter, and for value, click on the corresponding dimension in the Graphics area. Add the 5 inch as the second parameter and click OK. For the Hole Diameter, add a minimum of 0.8 inches and a maximum of 1.4 inches and type 0.2 for the step. The study will create configurations with different Hole Diameters, starting from the minimum to the maximum in increments of 0.2 inches. Add the side dimension as a second variable and type 4.8 for minimum, 6 for maximum, and 0.4 for the step. Under Constraints, click the drop-down to Add Sensors. Select Simulation Data for Sensor Type. Then select Stress and click OK. You need to have performed the static simulation in order to choose this option. In the same way, add Strain and Displacement. For conditions, select Monitor only for stress and strain, and less than 0.0015 inches for displacement. For the goal, select Mass and choose Minimize. You can now click on Run to see the results. SOLIDWORKS will analyze all of the possible combinations of dimensions and will calculate the ones that respect the conditions imposed. It will also give you the optimal choice, which is the one scenario that passed the test with the smallest mass. In this case, scenario number 4 is the best, with 4.8 inches for the side and holes that are 1.4 inches in diameter. Use this tool to improve the design and reduce costs in creating your robot.